That party's announced for the record for the state. Brittany Sparks. Defense. Good morning, Judge Ted Wood for Mr. Harris. And are you Mr. Harris? Yes, ma'am. Showing you what's entitled motion to enter adjudication of guilt and revoke community supervision and first amendment motion to enter adjudication of guilt and revoke community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Are you the same Jacob M. Harris who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2021 CR 5266 for the offense of evading arrest detention with a vehicle on April 14, 2022 for a period of two years? Is that you? State? Yes, Judge. Violated condition number four in Bear County, Texas, the defendant Jacob M. Harris did then and there fail to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of May, June, and July of 2022 in violation of condition number four. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True. We'll waive all of the violations. Any objection? None, Your Honor. If you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number four, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, and sentence you up to 10 years in prison and up to $10,000 fine? Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? Court will find violation of condition number four true. Is there an agreement? Yes, Judge. We're asking that you deny the MTR and alter and amend for a, a tap. We would request this be done in custody and then to follow all of the treatment recommendations as well as weekly reporting for 60 days. Is that the agreement? Judge, um, for the most part, I'm asking that Mr. Harris be released to the Haven for Hope and that he be allowed to... Uh, Make, a, make an appointment to do the TAP evaluation with the Community Supervision Department while he's living at the Haven for Hope. All right, that'll be denied. All right, Mr. Uh, Harris, do you not have a place to live? Yeah, but it's the code. All right, why are you whispering? I said it's the Coppers Cove. All right, and where is Coppers Cove? It's in Texas. So by Colleen Judge. All right, so does it, who's in Coppers Cove? Lady. I'm sorry, who? My lady. Your lady, what is your lady's name? Rasha. I'm sorry, what? Rasha. Rasha? Okay. How do you spell that? R-A-S-H-A-A. Last name Kendrick. Does she want you there? Yeah. That's either yes or no? Yes. And does she know you have drug problems? Yes. And does she have any children? No, ma'am. Do you have any children? Yes. And what are their ages? One on three in January, my son is in two in July. And are you employed or have you been employed? Yes, I was where, working on houses. I'm sorry, I was working on houses. And where are your children? In St. Louis. All right, when's the last time you saw them? I was about eight months. If you're gonna have children, you need to support them and be in their life if you're a good role model. All right, this is what the court is going to do. The court will deny the motion to alter the main conditions to include TAP while in custody. He's to follow all recommendations of the TAP evaluation. I'm going to want weekly reporting upon release for 60 days. I'm going to do the UA hotline for 90 days, field visits two times per month, and probation, you can um, have those field visits coincide with the reporting. And um, do you want your probation transferred to Copper's Cove? Yes. All right, and we'll see about transfer to Copper's Cove, but he's not to be transferred until uh, the TAP evaluation. And if the TAP evaluation recommends inpatient treatment, he's going into inpatient treatment. And then he could see about uh, the transfer to Copper's Cove at that point. Judge, will the court also consider outpatient treatment? No. All right. And they're going to have to see if there's anything out in Copper's Cove for for your probation to be transferred. If they're unable to transfer it there and if Copper's Cove doesn't accept you, then you'll be in Bear County. All right. Is there anything else? Nothing. All right, probation, is there anything else that's needed? Your Honor, if Copper's Cove is a county that we service, 
is it okay for him to um and the transfer you know doesn't go through or you know since it's something that we service is it okay for him to for virtual office visits there's going to need to be somebody to do some field visits will that still be accomplished no not if he's still here not if he's here so we'll, we'll check all right thank you Copper's Cove's pretty pop. Uh, it's got a pretty big population in the judge. It's right close to Fort Hood. Oh, so there should be some. There should be some services out there. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. May I be excused, Judge? Yes, you may be excused. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Jason Garahan. Defense. Milton Butler representing Jacob Harris. Are you Mr. Harris? Yes, ma'am. All right, counsel. Excuse me, counsel. In the box. Oh, if you can move down to that end. All right, we're back on the record. I'm going to show you what's entitled Motion to Enter Adjudication of Guilt and Revoke Community Supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yeah. Are you the same Jacob M. Harris who's placed on deferred adjudication in 2021 CR 5266 for the offense of evading arrest detention with a vehicle on April 14, 2022 for a term of two years? Is that you? Yes, ma'am. State? Yes, Your Honor. Violated condition number four. In Bear County, Texas, the defendant Jacob N. Harris did then there fail to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of January 2023 and February 2023 in violation condition number four. How do you plead to that, true or not true? And your honor will waive the remaining violated conditions. Any objections no. to the waivers? No objection. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number four, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty? Sentence you up to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine? Yes, Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry? Yes, ma'am. Court will find violation of condition number four true. Is there a proposed agreement? There is, Your Honor. And it is extend the, uh, I'm sorry, deny the motion, uh, extend the individual for two years, a 60 day jail sanction, uh, await a tap eval uh, for. Intensive outpatient of treatment and bi weekly drug test for 90 days, random thereafter, and then verify employment and residency every 90 days, Your Honor. Is this a proposed agreement? Yes, Your Honor. Are you asking me to follow this agreement? Yes, ma'am. All right, can you raise your right hand for me? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you, God? Yes, ma'am. All right, you can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Jacob Montreal Harris. All right. Why are you not doing well on probation? Um, when I got released, I was homeless. Um, I don't have any family really in San Antonio. All right, you're gonna have to pull the mask down. I don't have any family really in San Antonio. Um, my lady, my kids, and my support system is in St. Louis. That's where I wanted to get it transferred to. Um, I talked to my um probation officer about it, but it was kind of a process. That I wasn't able to fall through with, but um, that's really, really it. How many children do you have? I have two and one on the way. All right, what are their ages? My daughter is five, and my son he turns three in July. And the one on the way? Um, she's trans on the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and. The mother of that child, are they here in San Antonio? No. Is this the same person who has your other two children? Yes. All right. So why are you creating children when you don't have your life in order? Because if this one's on the way and you've been on probation since April 14, 2022, unless the gestation period has changed since I've been in school, what are you doing? Where I was working, I was doing stone masonry, um, and I was doing a little um, landscaping to take care of my kids and my lady. Uh, Why don't we say the mother of your children instead of my lady? Sorry, mother of my children. Okay. That's more professional. But, um, I mean, well, because that shows a sign of respect. Your lady, your girl, that's just, sometimes that's just random people. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Um, mother of my children. Um, so who does she know in St. Louis that she's in St. Louis and not here with you? 
Um, her mom, her whole family, our whole family is from there. How does her whole family feel about her being with you? Actually good. I mean, I have some bumps and bruises, but and right now we are a close, close family. All right, and where are your parents? And um, my mom is in Nebraska, but the, my aunties and my uncles and my grandma, everybody's in St. Louis. So why would you want to be in St. Louis as opposed to being in Nebraska with your mom? Because um, kids, of course, the mother of my children. Um, I have a better support system. I have some some good people that you know that mm -hmm. talk to me. You know, good people on my side to keep me focused. Not saying that I can't stay focused myself, but it's 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 the it's the surroundings. I I think that's better for me. All right, and what's up with all these tattoos? This is my daughter name. Um, this is my brother's keeper. I got my mom name, my my mother, my um kid's name, and then I got my daughter name again and her name again. So you're doing that because you cannot remember their names or just, you just want to do that? I love them. I, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to get um their faces on my chest. All right, so here's the thing. If you're going to be doing tattoos of relatives' names, you want them to be proud of it, right? And proud of you. So you're going to have to start doing better if you're going to be tattooing people's names on your body because somebody will see that and they will be like, oh, that's her dad. And you don't want them to say, that's her dad who doesn't have his life together because children, the way parents are raising them, they tease, they bully, they do all of that. And you don't want to give anybody any excuse to not uh, have your children proud of you. You understand? Yes, so you're going to have to start doing better. If you don't start doing better, you know what's going to end up happening? You potentially could be in prison for 10 years. I don't know why people don't report. It's sort of like I have a choice to make. I can report. I will be fine. Or I cannot report and potentially go to prison. I don't know why you're in the streets making choices to not report. And here... There are rules, there are consequences for actions. You understand? Yes, ma'am. And what I can tell you, uh, is there going to be an agreement for him to transfer to St. Louis? I believe there was, when, he was when he was originally sentenced back okay. in 2022. No, because I don't have it written that he was to transfer. This is the first time I'm hearing of St. Louis. And you know how I know this is the first time I'm hearing of St. Louis? Yes. Because it's not written on the docket sheet. And my mind is a steel trap. And I would have remembered you bring it up St. Louis, because I do. I probably can't tell you, oh, this happened on April 15th, but I can tell you the weather and I can tell you the entire conversation. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, so what county is St. Louis? Um, Missouri. It's um, Missouri County? No, Clayton, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? Clayton. All right. This is what the court will do. And states, you may continue to confer. Thank you. Jim. I'm going to find violation of condition number four true. I'll deny the motion. You'll be extended for two years. And this is the second time you haven't reported. You're not going to be it. But Sean, he's not transferring to St. Louis right away, he needs to show me something because this is the second time that you have not reported. You understand? Yes, ma'am. And the last time you wanted to transfer to Copper's Cove. And where is Copper's Cove located? Um, by Colleen. And see, and why were, why did you want to transfer to Colleen? Because it was going to be a job waiting for me. See, he just wants to, you're trying to be a vagabond or a I, nomad. You I can't really, do that when you're on probation. Yes, ma'am. All right, so... Deny, extend two years. There's to be no unsupervised contact with minors. There is going to be a referral to felony drug court while in custody. Follow all TAP recommendations. There is to be uh, field visits one time per month until further notice. You'd obtain employment. Within 45 days of release, there's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. And Ms. Abrams, 
once he's completed, if he doesn't qualify for felony drug court, if they want him in outpatient treatment or something else, once he's completed his treatment here, then uh, he can transfer to Clayton County. And also no transfer until he's completed parenting classes as well. Have you done your parenting classes? No, oh, man. What have you done since you've been on probation? I'm really working, trying to take care of my kids. Your yes, children? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, it was really, it was really it. I was just trying to stay busy, try to stay productive. All right. So you're going to get productive here if you want to transfer there. You understand? Yes, and to get productive here, that means that if you're not accepted into felony drug court, if the TAP evaluation recommends intensive outpatient treatment, you're going to complete that and complete parenting classes before I will allow transfer to uh, Missouri. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. I don't, and the reason why I'm doing it is because I don't like to send problems here elsewhere because I don't want somebody else sending their problems here either. You understand? Yes, ma'am. We can go off the record. And here's the other thing: your the mother, of your children is in Missouri with her parents and she's with her parents because she needed probably financial support and a place to stay, right? You cannot be going to Missouri, do not have your life in order and then try to do upheaval and change things like, oh, I'm the father, what I say goes, you understand? Yes, ma'am. So you need to get your life in, in order first. Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? Oh, yeah. Probation, is there anything else he needs? All right, here's the deal. In this court, and I've told you this before, I'm going to say it again. To be successful on probation, communication is key. If you have an issue, let your probation officer know. If you're homeless, let your probation officer know. They can refer you to different places. If for any reason they are not responding to that, you can always come back to the court. You understand? Yes, ma'am. And Vashon, I just got this second chance job flyer. Do you have a copy of that? Yes. All right. And so you'll make sure you go to that job fair. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.